Good day, good day, everyone. How are you? This is Bernadette Bowes with Shedding the Bitch Radio. And uh, you can always reach out to us at 1-818-572-2910. Because I have a lot to talk about today, and it's just me that you get to share this half hour with. But um, I'm really excited. It's a gorgeous day here. A, a tad chilly, not complaining. But it's a beautiful day here in Atlanta, and Halloween was yesterday, so it seems that everybody had a fabulous time. At least uh, the kids certainly look like they did. I've been checking out the Facebook pages and all the photos that have been uh, shooting around the web, and there are just some some really historical ones. And you need to go to my Facebook page, Bernadette Bowes. Uh, I've been sharing ones that uh, family members or friends have been sending, and they're just hysterical. I didn't dress up Charlie. A uh, number of you know Charlie if you listen in on a weekly basis. I didn't dress him up. He's a big dog. And I didn't want to deal with him struggling to get out of it all night. But I did uh, go to a little doggy fest Halloween party last week with my friend Karen of Laughing Pets Atlanta here in town. And that was hysterical. A lot of small dogs, but actually I was surprised at the number of big dogs. So for those of you uh, dog lovers out there, uh, you did a great job in uh, dressing up your little pooches and big pooches. And yet Charlie was the only one there in his glory and in his beauty, but without a costume. <laughs> but happy Halloween. I hope everybody's having a fabulous day. And since it's November 1st, uh, Saints Day, it's also my beautiful, lovely younger sister, Patricia's birthday. And she listens in regularly, so I want to shout out to Patricia. Happy birthday. A lot of you know her as Patty. Um, I tend to not call her that. I don't know why. It just never, it never just resonated with me. She, to me, she's Patricia. And so happy birthday, Patricia. Love you to death. And I hope uh, you and the family are having a great, fun-filled time. Unless you had so much fun over the weekend watching the Eagles get uh, or blast whoever they were playing I forget now but that was one uh, one heck of a game and then of course with all the five kids of yours uh, during trick-or-treat so I hope you had a fabulous fabulous time and that they're treating you to not only Halloween candy <laughs> but maybe some cake and some dinner and some flowers and some other things but uh, love you to death happy birthday well I don't even know where to start I honestly don't. There is just so much going on in the world of shedding the bitch and Bernadette Bowes and all of my friends and colleagues out there that they've been sharing all of their um, activity and events with me. So much so that we're going to spend some time today just talking about all the various different uh, things that are going on out there. And if you've got a certain event, certain program, or certain something that you want me to do a shout out on, I'm going to do that regularly here on Shedding the Bitch Radio, and then I'm also going to do it regularly on my um, uh, author speaker page on Facebook. Uh, I have Shout Out Sundays, and I have Funny Fridays, and I have Rich Tip Days, but I want to give a day to you and dedicate a day to you that if you have something, uh, and you're a business owner, you're a corporate executive, you're a, you know, just an employee or not just, forgive me, but if you are a housewife or if you're a PTA and you've got something going on that you want to kind of broadcast out there, feel free to chat in with me. You have to be live on the call, but feel free to chat in with me. And if you have something going on, I'd love to be able to share it with, with the community. And uh, keeping in mind that this goes... Um, international not just Atlanta so if your events are going on over in Dubai down in Australia or here in the States feel free to share and I'd love to get that out for you but a number of other really exciting things I'm so excited about is we've been getting some fabulous feedback here and you've been contributing greatly um, online and uh, on the call itself on Shane the Bitch Radio here uh, itself directly that we are putting together some great programs for you whether it's on the radio or dur during webinars or in a telesummit that we're going to be having and it's all about both designing a perfect powerful life for yourself 
but also it's the shifting to rich that we talk about, kind of getting, shedding all those bitches that you might have in your life around angst and attitudes and fears and negativity and belief systems that haven't been working for you. And uh, so we have a number of programs around uh, helping you shed those bitches to shift to riches. But we're also going to do some other things that are specific to whether it's business or life, whether it's women or men. And coming up in December, I'm very excited, uh, December 7th, uh, we are having, I'm a sponsoring, Shedding the Bitches sponsoring, a Designing a Powerful Woman Telesummit. And I'm bringing together four other fabulous, powerful women that'll talk to you about everything from uh, really getting in, into tune with your body and your mind, and that will be Jenny Craig of Live Your Power. We'll talk about personal branding, that once you kind of know, you know who you are, you can actually uh, positively promote yourself out there to the world, whether it's professionally or personally, whether it's you're trying to find a relationship or you're trying to get a promotion at work, whatever the case might be. And then we're going to talk about kind of how do you be that CEO of your business and life. So how do you take control and how do you leverage everything that you do in a given day uh, to really maximize your life and your business. And then, and that's with, I'm sorry, that's with um, Mindy Sylvester, Sylvester. And the personal branding is with Kathy Bass of um, Ladies Who Brand. And she is the branding lady. And then we have uh, social media or promoting yourself truthfully, which we talk a lot about here, uh, with Sherry Hale. So take a look for that. It's uh, Designing a Powerful Woman dot eventbrite.com and you'll see all the details about it and in the meantime over the next four weeks in December or I'm sorry in the November what I'm excited about is every Tuesday beginning next week so November 8th we're going to feature one of those powerful designing women right here on uh, Shedding the Bitch Radio but more importantly we're going to have a dedicated 45 minutes to an hour each Tuesday afternoon at 1 p.m on my Shift to Riches webinar series. And we're gonna give you an opportunity to meet with them and learn from them even before that December 7th event. The webinars for the next four weeks are always, actually, are free, uh, Tuesdays at one o'clock. And then the Telesummit on December 7th, you can go to Designing a Powerful Woman uh, forward slash, or I'm sorry, Designing a Powerful Woman dot eventbrite.com and get the details in regards to the Power Pact program we're going to have and you're going to get a lot of free bonuses for registering uh, so uh, feel free to check that out and then stay with us every Tuesday this afternoon I'm going to talk about uh, personally how to increase and decrease your value and the currency uh, that you're worth both uh, professionally and personally and I, I don't know you can tell I'm kind of like so excited and so pumped up about just everything going on and then, of course, on my radio show, I always have dedicated uh, speakers as well as sometimes just me, like today. And over the next few weeks, I'm going to be uh, profiling some authors, especially female uh, authors who have written from a female perspective on the dynamics of women in the workplace, of women in corporate, of women in the um, corner office, so forth and so on. So uh, we have... Uh, Shelly Neglio coming up at, um, in next week, who will talk about power of women seminars that she does, all focused around how to really empower you to live a full life. And then we have uh, Sally Heglinson, who wrote The Female Vision, and then Rona Lichtenberg, who wrote uh, Pitch Like a Girl. So stay tuned for those uh, radio show episodes as well, and you can always go to blog talk radio forward slash shedding the bitch. Uh, in order to get more details about that. So as you can tell, a lot is going on. But I want to hear from you as well, uh, 1-818-572-2910. What topics would you like to hear about and learn about, whether it's here on the radio show or it's on one of my Shift to Riches program? What people would you like to hear from? And I know uh, and I see one of my dear friends and, uh, and experts as well, 
herself out there, Kazern, is uh, I can see sitting out there listening in. And uh, so she and a number of others, we want to get on this program and uh, have them really help you, male or female. This isn't just a woman show. Shedding the Bish relates to anyone dealing with any angst attitudes and negative mindsets. And of course, we want everybody shifting to riches so uh, we can, you know, not only drive up our own personal and professional lives, but we can also impact the economy, the financial world, and the world as a whole. So uh, we'll be bringing together some great programs with you as we go forward. And I'd like to say we have so far, <laughs> um, but would love, would absolutely um, love your input to that. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that said, um, with this Designing a Powerful Woman program, what our um, real goal is, is, and you'll see it when you go to designingapowerfulwoman.eventbrite.com, it is a how-to, it's not a woo-woo. So I know a lot of you will hear from me, and, um, <laughs> hey Kay, how are you? And, um, You'll hear me talk about the fact that uh, I always want to arm you and give you tools, tips, advice, things that you can use. And uh, I can certainly talk forever, as you also might know, but at the same time, I'd rather make it very instructive, constructive, um, and very impactful for you. If you're going to give your time to me uh, during these programs, I want to make sure I return it to you at, in, in regards to what you can use to move your life um, that much closer to all the dreams and the goals that you have. So that's what our intention is and hopefully we meet that objective each and every week or opportunity that we get to touch and, and spend some time with you. Uh, lastly, I do want to say as well, SheddingTheBitch.com is a brand new rolled out website that I'm very excited about because it's very collaborative and very social. So when you, when you go out there, and I know you will, you will see a whole new interface, uh, a whole new environment, a whole new set of uh, opportunities for you not to only engage with me, but more importantly, to engage with in each other. So you'll see some what we call bitch niches out there. They're actually forums and places for you to go and collaborate on whatever subject matter that uh, you feel like you need some advice, support, just a vent. Not in a nasty way. This isn't about bitching, keep in mind. This is about how do you uh, work constructively and effectively to kind of um, optimize all of your skill sets and your talent, but also more importantly, your empowered mindset. So you'll see relationships that are out there right now as a forum, business, whether it's entrepreneurship, corporate, or just women in business. You'll also see a forum around divorce. These are topics that you all have said to me are important and you need some support on. And once you start collaborating amongst yourself, you'll also see experts jumping in, not only myself, but other individuals who are expert in the field of divorce, relationships, business, um, marketing. Uh, we, have, we have a number of topics that we can certainly address for you when it comes to shedding all the angst, attitudes, and negative mindsets out of your life so you can shift to the riches that you so deserve. So you can propose also to us some topics or you can add them yourself. You can actually join in on a forum and then add in the topic that you want to collaborate on. So I'm really excited about that. And then you'll also see what we call here a rich meter, which is a uh, kind of a process or a methodology, if you want to look at it like that, of how you can discover, confront, and shed those bitches so you can create and accelerate your riches. And it's literally a process of each one of those stages that will have and does have currently uh, some uh, less than others, but have content, advice, tips, tools, and connections into experts that'll help you in each one of those stages. And you can start anywhere along the stage that you might be in that progression and uh, or start at the beginning. So keep an eye out for additions, a lot of additions to content around 
that rich meter methodology, but I'm very excited about it because it's all about you and it's all about giving you the, the tools and ammunition that you need in order to really um, have a successful life. So those are all of my updates and all of my tips. If any of you out there have a question, feel free to chat in. If you are listening in, you can always call in at 1-818-572-2910 and ask me a question. So what should we talk about today? It's a beautiful day. Um, this afternoon's call is all around how do you increase your value and what is decreasing your value to your friends, family, your workplace, to your, to your life personally. And we do a lot of chatting around here about how we are our worst en you know, enemies at a lot, in a lot of situations. We do more harm to ourselves than anyone else around us. And therefore, what can we do to really uh, ensure that we're focusing each and every day on ourselves uh, and we're being good to ourselves? We have to be good to ourselves. I used to do a lot of sabotaging of myself just I liked I th always thought that playing a devil's advocate you know always looking for the worst case scenario would protect me somehow I'm not sure if you ever did that to yourself but I personally would spend time thinking that if I prepared for the worst and I thought the worst and I played the devil's advocate that that would somehow protect me and prepare for prepare me for when it did go bad and as any of you probably have experienced yourself, you know that that is such the wrong strategy. <laughs> it just doesn't work and often backfires on you. Because one, what happens? Well, if you're always thinking of the worst case scenario and always playing devil's advocate, well, you're living in quite the negative state, aren't you? Or uh, really a lot of angst in your life. So what do you do to kind of just, you know, change that to, to thinking positively? Because yes, you can never prepare for bad things. I did it with my father. Um, for those of you who might, have, who might know my story, might have read my book, Shedding the Corporate Bitch, uh, I spent probably a good 20, 25 years preparing, literally preparing for my father to pass away. I mean, I sat there and I said to myself, you know, well, he started having heart attacks, uh, severe heart attacks when I was a senior in high school. And it held me back for a year from going to school because I thought, well, I went to college, but in Philadelphia and I wanted so much to get away and, and move out on my own. But then I was fearful that, well, what should, you know, what if I moved away and all of a sudden he died? I'd rather be right there with him. And so I gave up my dream for that year and stayed there only for him to live another, what, he died um, probably a good 30 years after, after that, uh, maybe 25. And yet for 25 years I spent like always thinking when the phone rings it's gonna be a, a call about him passing away or every time, you know, I go home, you know, something's gonna happen and, uh, you know, he will have died. And I just kind of always thought that, well, if I prepared for it, it would be easy and trust me, the day he died and I was actually there by his bedside taking care of him in hospice along with my 11 other brothers and sisters. Um, nothing prepares you, absolutely nothing. Creating it in your head of it being easier or not as, as uh, dramatic as you think it's gonna be, it doesn't work. And yet a lot of us do that each and every day we get up. We'd rather tell ourselves, look in the mirror and tell ourselves that we're you know, we're okay being single, we're okay being in the job that we're in, we're okay working for somebody else, we're okay in the relationship that is destroying our, you know, our very being. It's okay, and we just kind of talk, you know, talk ourselves into beliefs that aren't true, and in hope that that will be easier than the alternative. And, uh, I, you know, and I'm sure if you think about it, there's an instance in your life that you've done that and you've done it to such a degree that you've convinced yourself totally out of pursuing whatever, whatever dream, next step, risk you wanted to take. And uh, all I can say to that is, how is it working for you? <laughs> how is that working for you? Because I know for me, 
I know for me and a lot of people that I talk with, male or female, young or old, that it doesn't. It, you know, it's doing that to ourselves, uh, self-talk in a negative, sabotaging way never works. And I know for myself, and I'm sure you can agree, that you don't want to get to, you know, the end of your life and all this self-talk prevented you from doing anything and everything that you wanted to do in life. Uh, so create that bucket list. Create that bucket list that'll keep you focused on what are those things that you want to accomplish in life. And if you even look at that list and say, yeah, right, I can't do that, or you have any doubt or uncertainty or just um, uh, negativity about how you can go after achieving that bucket list, Take them one at a time and then just question yourself. Look at your list and say, okay, I want to start my own business. So that's your bucket list. That's what you want to want to do and plan to do. If you need to, and this is kind of part of the, the whole discovery phase of even our rich meter, you know, look at that and, and kind of say, why can't I? Why can't I accomplish it? I can accomplish it. And what can I do to accomplish it as opposed to looking at the negative? You know, you don't want to prepare for failure. You want to believe in yourself that you're going to succeed and therefore just have a very uh, positive view of whatever situation, whatever event, whatever hardship and whatever positive that you have in your life. Just keep always looking at it as there's something to learn. There's something I'm willing to lose. Because when you take risks, you know, there's a chance, right? There's a, not necessarily always a 50-50, but there's a chance. And so look at all of them, but look at them in a positive, constructive way as opposed to a negative, sabotaging way. And uh, I can guarantee you, you'll, you'll find a lot more achievement and successes in your life and a lot more contentment and peace. I know when I stopped playing devil's advocate with myself and I stopped focusing on the what if in the negative sense and I stopped worrying like for instance now that my father's passed away then you know <laughs> I could have naturally kind of took that over to my mother who's 83 has had you know uh, health issues she's had a 12 children she you know uh, has her body shows that she's had 12 children um, but yet her spirit and her heart and her love, I'm telling you, it's like a 10-year-old. And so whether or not her physical being gives out on her one day, uh, it will. It will for all of us. But at the same time, I'm not going to sit around and um, dwell on it and worry about it and, you know, create the situation in my head thinking it's going to make it easier because, you know, it's not going to. So I might as well just stay positive that and take, take um, the opportunity to relish every moment that she is with us and anybody uh, and appreciate it as opposed to uh, dwell in its, in its sadness or, or hardship that it's going to put on me. So those are my thoughts in regards to that. But, you know, from a, from a designing a powerful woman, man, young or old, it's all about what tools and resources and support do you need that can help you discover and confront and shed all the negativity so you can bring in all the positive into your world and create and accelerate everything and anything that you want in your life. And uh, that's our ongoing message here at Shedding the Bitch Radio. And part of the whole Designing a Powerful Woman program that we initiate this afternoon at one o'clock and we'll carry on for the next four or five weeks, actually, up until our big December 7th Telesummit event. And I am, you know, dying to hear from, from you as to what it is that you'd like to hear about, talk about, hear from, what experts, what resources, what support uh, can uh, Shedding the Bitch Radio and, and the whole Shedding the Bitch program provide to you. Um, so from there, I will just say that uh, stay tuned for those programs. Stay tuned for the uh, Designing a Powerful Woman Telesummit on December 7th. Check out SheddingTheBitch.com programs for all of the events coming up over the next four or five weeks. Check back here every Tuesday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time for our Shift to Riches webinar programs. 
uh, which are always not, they're not like the radio show, which with me just gabbing, they are uh, packed with advice and tips and tools that you can walk away with and use in your life. And, and like I said, for the next three or four weeks, we will talk and introduce you if you don't already know them. Uh, the, the powerful women, your designers for the Tele Summit on December 7th, but they're going to also provide you some additional tips and advice and opportunities for you to ask them questions on our webinar series over the next uh, four weeks. So check in on that. And then just go to Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn. You can find me and, and all of these programs out there as well. Uh, so I want to, actually we have another minute if anybody has any any comments, any, anybody want to share anything out there? Um, feel free to call in at 1-818-572-2910. Here's some free airtime for yourself. Or you can chat in and, uh, and give us some of, your, some of your happenings in your own world. Uh, and then stay tuned for that being a regular part of the programs and part of my Facebook and other messaging is giving you an opportunity to kind of promote yourself and promote what's going on in your, in your business or in your life. And maybe just simply if you need to kind of gain a resource or an expert, you can also uh, inquire here at Shedding the Bitch Radio around that as well. This is like the first time I actually have some airtime, but I'm not gonna take advantage of you for that. But I shared all of our updates and uh, programs going on and tips that I had for today around stop sabotaging yourself. Talk positively at all times and look in the mirror and appreciate who you are no matter what situation that you are in and just talk positively, constructively, effectively to yourself and if that's through prayer, if that's through affirmation, if that's just through literally talking to yourself in the mirror, pumping yourself up, whatever you need to do to stay in that rich mindset. Um, that's, what, that's what I'd like to leave with you today uh, to do and that will prove to you or you will prove to yourself actually how you can alter your life both um, inward in your heart in your head and outwardly by just being the best person that you can be each and every day so with that this is bernadette bose with shedding the bitch radio so i want to thank you so much for joining us today and come back next tuesday at noon for more shedding the bitch radio thanks everybody have a great great day